Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. I'm going to be reviewing a beer for one of my favourite breweries. It's Arbor and it's a can of their massive Azak. And it's a Azaka New England Pale Ale coming in at 5.4% ABV. Cleverly named Massive Azak uh, in honour of uh, Massive Attack, of course. Um, the electronic band that came out of Bristol in the late 80s. Done some absolute bangers over the years. Um, Unfinished Symphony... Teardrop, Protection, absolute classics. Um, so yeah, they've released a beer in honour of them. Um, this one was kindly sent to me by one of my subscribers, uh, Simon, down in Bristol. Thank you, buddy. Um, he sent me a few beers over the last year or so. Can't, can't thank you enough, mate. Really appreciate it. Hope you're well, buddy. Um, so what's it say about this beer? It says, it's a New England pale ale brewed with a Zaka, Citra and El Dorado hops. Um, do, 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 do ingredients, I mean, it contains... Barley, malted barley, wheat and oats. And that's about all she wrote, really. Brewed and canned in uh, under an 81 Eastern Road in Bristol. I love these guys. Absolutely love these guys. Um, let's get this open. See what we're dealing with. 5.4% New England Pale. Perfect way to start the weekend. Um, Azaka hops. Um, you get orange, you get mango... Traditionally quite tropical flavours from those hops. Um, you often get a bit of pininess as well. Look at that. Goodness me. They always, always, always have a lot of life in them, these Arbor beers. Let's leave that there so we can see it. There's his massive attack. Her head on that is enormous. I don't think that was a particularly vigorous pour either, but that's just gone absolutely mad. It has travelled, to be fair, so it might have a bit of life in it. Um, yeah, the Zaka hops, you get the tropical notes from sort of citra and mosaic but they can often have a bit of pininess um, that you kind of perhaps more um, suited with sort of West Coast IPAs and things like that. So um, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it might be a bit of a, uh, might be a bit of a, a different, a different pale ale. Might be quite a, uh, a mixed batch. <sighs> the aroma is lovely. Even through that solid two, three finger creamy white head, I'm getting lots of tropical fruit. Certainly mango. Bit of passion fruit. Plenty of orange. Bit of pineapple. It smells lovely. It really does smell good. Um, I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers. Oh. oh, that's so good. That's so good. I only got about half of that in the glass. I mean, that is lovely. Um, the the oats in the brew make it very soft, very creamy on the mouthfeel. Goodness me. Um, it's got all the tropical fruit, all the mango. And I tell you what, you are getting just a slight distinct bitterness at the back end. It does have a slightly piney character. And that is all about that Azaka hops. You're getting all the citra quality. You're getting all the tropical fruit, the pineapple, the passion fruit, a bit of pineapple. Certainly orange. Oh, that's a smasher. That is uh, such a smashable beer. Really nice and juicy. Nice bit of creaminess on the mouthfeel from the oats. And at the back end there's a little bit of pininess. And a little bit of bitterness. And a little bit of warmth as well. A bit of hoppy warmth. Because it's only 5.4, so I shouldn't really be getting any boozy kick on it. But there's a bit of hop warmth on the back of it as well. It's a really beautifully rounded pale ale. Um, let me just look at the colour of that beer. I mean, you ain't seen nothing through that. That just looks like thick fruit juice. It's really full bodied. Oh, really coats the palate. Quite good levels of carbonation on it. Straight up front mango, orange, pineapple in particular. Let it develop a little bit here and getting passion fruit. 
It's not too sweet. It's balanced. It's quite a calm tasting. Never, never quite goes over the top. There's always a. I say this a lot about Sierra Nevada beers. They've always got a beautiful balance to them. And I think Arbor are the same for me. Whenever I have an Arbor beer, there's always plenty of flavour, but not too much. Not, not to the point where it drowns out all your other senses. There's always a nice balance to these beers with Arbor. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I've, I've yet to have a bad beer from this brewery. They are absolutely outstanding. Criminally underrated for me. I, I say it every time I have one of their beers. I can't believe how good they are and no one's... Well, not no one, but not enough people are talking about them for me. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. Oh, it's glorious. Let me get the rest of that in there. Let me give it a bit of a swirl. See if I get any bits and bobs. Any bits of bobs, any sediment. I'll have it. I will have it. Oh, God, there's loads. Loads coming out there. It's a lively little one, this one. But yeah, artwork simple. Matte finish, pint can. The leaf logo, unmistakably Arbor. Um, as far as New England pails go, um, this is right up there with the best I've ever had. And I'm not surprised at all because this is what Arbor do. They're just absolutely outstanding. Juicy, full bodied, lovely mouthfeel, slightly creamy. Back end, a bit of pininess, a bit of hoppy warmth. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a winner. Um, I'm not. I'm not even a a massive over the top fan of New England beers, but when it's done right, they are outstanding. I like a New England beer when it's done right, and that has been done right. I mean, look at the head on this beer. That's maintaining all the way down. We've still got a full-on two-finger white head on that. That is the lacing on the glass, everything about it. This is, It doesn't get better than this. It doesn't get better than that. I, I, can't, I can't stress how good this brewery are. I cannot stress enough how good this brewery are. They're absolutely outstanding. And they're not even the most expensive brewery out there. I think I've said that before as well. You can go into a bottle shop. And get a pint can of this stuff for about four quid. You try and get you try and get that from Daya or Verdant. You know, you try and get a beer that price from them, no chance. You're talking seven, eight quid. Um, they're outstanding. Absolutely outstanding and incredibly good value for money. I love that. That's glorious. Beautifully balanced. No dankness, no overripe fruitness to it. It's balanced beautifully. It's juicy, refreshing, beautifully body, creamy body to it. Nice bit of pininess, subtle bitterness at the back end. It's a lovely balanced New England pale ale. It's glorious. It's a 10 out of 10. It has to be. It has to be. Once again, Arbor have smashed it out of the park. Their massive Azak. I thoroughly recommend everyone tries that. And not just this one, all of Arbor's beers. They're outstanding. 10 out of 10. I've lost the cam. It's so bloody tall. Knock it over nice and easy. Uh, massive Azak from Arbor. 10 out of 10 for me. Lovely stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Till my next one, you take care.